Hey, Miles here at Title Hive. Welcome to another competition video. Today I'm going to be talking about racking your slide. There are a lot of different techniques. This can be when you are reloading, when you're clearing a malfunction, and you may have seen a lot of these techniques out in the wild where some are slingshotting it from the back here, some are going over the top here, some people are doing this. There's, there's different techniques. And we're talking about this because in sport you're looking for efficiencies but also you have to consider what's comfortable for you, as well as the, your division might dictate how you're racking the slide. Now this is, you know, it sounds like a very simple thing. Everyone knows how to rack the slide, right? But once again, the name of the game in competition shooting is you're trying to look for anywhere you can cut down on time or increase your speed. So let's discuss some of the most common things that you're going to see. As I just mentioned, depending on the division, for example, open division shooters typically will have some kind of lever here where they can pull on that lever. So that pretty much, you know, limits their, their way of racking the slide. Most of them are going to have that because they have the, the red dot on top and things like that. So just keep that in mind, depending on the setup, it can dictate things. So the three most common ways you're going to see people rack the slide in competition or even in defensive shooting is over the top, where you're going to see people come like this, okay, over the top, all right, from this angle here, over the top. The slingshot method, where it looks like a slingshot because I'm pinching the rear of the slide, and then I rack the slide. And then either over the top like this, from the front of the muzzle here, over the top, or you'll see people even do it from the bottom, okay? Each of those will accomplish what you need to get done, right? Where you have a malfunction, you need to, to load a bullet in the chamber, but depending on your style, depending on your skill level, one might be faster than the other. So we are going to do this live to kind of show you the time differences there. Remember, speed is important in competition shooting. Let's go over just some pros and cons of uh, each of the methods here. So let's start off with what is generally considered the slowest here. So I'm pointing this gun down here, I'm, I'm completely dry here, and I'm going to do the over the top method, where if I break a shot or whatever I need to do, I run into a malfunction, whatever, whatever happens here, and I need to rack the slide. So what will happen is, notice the time it takes for me to get my gun back up and into the competition here. So. Let's say something goes wrong, I have to rack. I'll, typically, you're gonna see people bring this gun in, go over, and then punch it out. And now they have to reestablish their grip. So that's a lot of movement. It gets the job done, but there was a lot of movement. I had to bring the gun in, I'm over the top, then establish my grip. The next fastest, um, in general, okay, is going to be the slingshot method, where, okay, maybe I ran, run into a malfunction, I need to get my gun back in, into the competition here. You know, if, if you're into the tap rack, the Olsen defensive shooting, that happens, but competition, you'll hardly ever see someone tap rack it, okay, because they've all, typically, they've already checked their, uh, that their mag is already seated, but it can happen, right? So anyway, you run into an issue here, you're gonna see someone turn the gun here and slingshot it and then regrip. Compared to the over the top method, you can already tell that's faster, right? So in competition, if you want to save time, you probably will want to just turn the gun, rack the slide, and then regrip, right? So that is method number two. Method number three, and the variation um, is where you're going over the top like this, okay? And this is why you know some pistols will have the serrations at the front of the slide here, where you're grabbing over the top, or you can even, some shooters will go under, okay, depending on their technique and style. But the reason why that is fair, you see that in a lot of competition shooting, and it's kind of spilling over to the defensive world, which is why you'll see a lot of defensive pistols there. They're really pushing the serrations here, where if I do this, take, take, compare this to the slingshot method or even the over the top method. So I'm, I'm here and I need to rack my slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm here, I rack it, so I'm actually pushing the gun, but notice once I push the gun and I release, I already have my grip. So it's a little bit faster. So compare this to the slingshot. Something goes wrong, I need a clear case here, whatever it is, this compared to that. The second variation is a little bit faster. I already told you that there is also a variation to that technique over the top, where some shooters, they might even just bring this like that, and there's different times to do that. For example, if someone was running, okay, if someone was running into position, they might do this, okay? I personally don't do that, so if they're running the position where they can bring their gun in, this might be a time to just do that. So you can see where it might save you a little bit of time. So let's say I'm running the position or something, I need to clear this or rack it, whatever, whatever the reason is, okay? If my hands are here, 
and I have to do this, there's added motion compared to that. Okay, it's a little bit faster. So there might be a time and place to do that. So I just wanna share that with you, okay? For some of you, it might be awkward because as I mentioned, depending on the, the situation. So those are three methods and the third one has a little bit of variation. So let's test it, put it on the timer and see how, what the differences are like. All right, here I am with a target seven yards away. I'm going to test each method under time, okay, with the buzzer. I'm going to do the over the top method first, then the slingshot method, and then I'm going to use the front serrations of uh, the firearm. How it's going to work is I'm going to load my firearm and on the buzzer, I actually have my gun pointed down range at the target. On the buzzer, I am going to execute the technique and then take a shot, then record the time. Then I'm gonna move on to the next technique and then we'll compare the times to see what's faster. I'm hot, seven yards from the target. On the buzzer, I'm going to do the slingshot method and then break the shot here. And for all intents and purposes, I'm going to do this where I actually have to bring the gun in. There might be some variations where people are gonna do it out here, but traditionally you'll see people bring the gun here, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so on the buzzer, I'll be on target here. I'm off safe, okay, with my trigger prepped, and then I'll release my finger from the trigger and then do the technique. All right, so that was a 163. 163. So now I'm going to do the slingshot method, all right? So I'm gonna be off safe, trigger prepped, on the buzzer, finger off the trigger, slingshot, and then take the shot. So that was a 115, okay? 115, so that was definitely faster. On to the third variation. We'll see if this is faster here. I'm going to now rack the slide using the front serrations here. And that was definitely the fastest, 0.89. I mentioned the other variation where you rack from the bottom, but I'm not going to demonstrate that because to, to be very honest, I haven't done that a lot. I've just seen it out in the wild. And so me demonstrating it might not give you an accurate uh, feel for the speed or anything like that. That being said, we can already see that there is quite a marked difference between the three methods. And in competition shooting, you know, quarter of a second, half a second, it's huge. So there you guys have it. You can easily tell that one method is faster. We already talked about efficiency being important, but let's talk about some pros and cons, general pros and cons that uh, come with each technique here that can apply really to any type of shooting, competition or defensive. So the first one here, we talked about the slingshot method, okay? A lot of people will, will say that it's more secure. They feel like they have really good control of the gun here. This is more reliable. Okay, so that is one of the pros that you're gonna hear people talk about. I personally don't use this method, okay? But that is something that people talk about. It is natural, and because your arms are here, you're strong, you, you really have more strength than kind of when your arms are stretched out. A disadvantage there with this method here, we already know about the, the speed, but you could possibly cover the ejection port here and cause a malfunction. That's a possibility, okay? Another potential disadvantage of this is if your hands are all sweaty, you know, there's, there's all this grime, oily, whatever it is, you potentially could slip here and you might, you might actually miss racking the slide, okay? A third that you'll hear people talk about is potentially, you could shoot from the hip here, but you can't, you don't really have a reference of your sights on target, uh, whether this was defensive shooting or in competition. Competition, you're probably not gonna shoot this way, but just these are, once again, general pros and cons. Let's talk about the slingshot method. So the slingshot method, a pro there is besides being faster, your sights are already pretty much on target, roughly in the target zone that you wanna hit because you were already aiming downrange on your sights, you want to rack your slide, you're just turning it, so you know your sights are kind of in the realm of where you want to hit, okay? As for disadvantages, similar to the slingshot method, you could potentially slip here, your hands are oily, what, whatever it is, you might miss it and you have to do it again, okay? Another disadvantage over this is sometimes you will, it happens rarely, but depending on the speed of, for some people they won't rack it really well, they'll do it slowly, and there's time where that chamber, that you might not fully eject or ejects and it falls back down, so that's why you'll hear some people sometimes talk about this. I've seen it happen, but it's rare, but it can happen, so that is a disadvantage, okay, a potential one. All right, let's talk about the third method, which is using your front serrations. 
We all talked about the variation, but I'm not gonna do the variation from the bottom here. So what is an advantage? The major advantage that really stands out in my mind is really it's more efficient, it's faster. Okay, but despite it being faster, you are going to have some issues here in terms of the disadvantages. What is that? One, just like the other methods, you can slip here. You can definitely slip. Even if you have skateboard tape or serrations, if it's oily, whatever it might be, you can slip just like the over the top and the slingshot method. Another major disadvantage that people talk about is if you haven't practiced this a lot or under stress, you might actually bring your hand in front of the muzzle. So obviously it's a safety hazard there. So you need to be really cognizant about that and practice this technique a lot. A third disadvantage with this that happens to some people, especially in competition, you're trying to move fast, depending on the front sight that you use, you might cut yourself because of these sharp corners on the front sight where you're doing this quickly, maybe you're not looking and you hit it and then you rack your slide and you know you get a little bit of a cut there right? That can happen. I've seen it happen. And it can happen with any of the methods here. Let's say if you have a front sharp edge rear sight, I do the slingshot method. Maybe it happens there over the top. It can happen as well. But I have seen it happen more so with the front sight. So those are some of the general advantages, disadvantages of these types of racking or slide. There can be more out there. This is just an overview. But the main point here for competition shooting is that you are going to be more efficient with the over the top method here at the front of the slide. Based on what you've been using, you might be faster right now, but if you build some efficiency, or I should say some competency with each method and then test them out, I'm pretty sure the third method is going to be the fastest. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. The name of the game in competition is to be very efficient, so I'm sharing these techniques with you. Give them a try, let us know what you think. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.